In this video, I will explain how to log in to Microsoft Teams. This will be the platform that will be used in the Spanish program for you to have the virtual classes and for you to connect to your teacher. So if you uh, look for in Google for Teams web, you're going to find this first link, you can log in there and start, click on a start session. Here you should include your institutional email. Please be sure you include the ad unisavana.edu.co. Then you click on next. And after that, you should type your password. Remember the password was the password that you had already activated. This explanation was made in a, in a different video. Here, your identity is going to be checked. So you should select either getting a phone call or a text message with a code for you to be able to check your identity. In a previous video, uh, I have explained how you can find out also this code. As soon as you type the code, you should click on next or check. And here you may select. If you're in your personal computer, you can check on yes. Or if you're not in your personal computer, you can click on no. In this case, I'm not in my personal computer, so I will click on no. Otherwise, uh, if you click on yes, your uh, identity and password are going to be saved there. Here we can see how Microsoft Teams is now opening for me. Now I am already logged in. So this is the way in which you're going to see your courses. You will see your courses in this way. You will find the number and the group here, Spanish group. So your class is going to look like this. Your teacher is going to type some messages and publication and share some archives in here. As well as you will be able to connect to your classes in publications, you will see this, which is the event that is programmed for your weekly classes. There, for you to connect to the class, you should click on the event and after that, you should click over here in join. When you click in join, a new window is going to be open for you to start the class with your teacher. I hope this video was useful for you.